translation procedures can be very complicated. By referencing a CT dataset fused with the liver ultrasound imaging, we can greatly simplify the procedure. In the past, we performed many complicated cases uh, without this, but they required a great deal of time. You can use CT imaging to guide the procedures, but you only have the axial view, and you cannot rely on the axial view alone for sticking the needle into the target lesion. Using CT scans for needle guidance is very complicated and time-consuming. You insert the needle just a little bit and then scan the patient. You change the orientation of the needle, push a little further and then scan again. You repeat the procedures until the needle is in the target. On the other hand, referencing a CT dataset fused with the live ultrasound imaging makes it simple to visualize the target and the needle pathway. It is easy to determine the needle's entrance point on the skin. We have a good experience using this technique. The procedure is streamlined using the Active Tracker device for automatic registration. That technology is very welcome because it enables us to complete the procedures in an easy and fast way. The CT dataset and ultrasound image quickly fuse together, allowing me to be able to understand exactly where I am ablating. The patients benefit because a shorter procedure means less time under general anesthesia and therefore less time to recover from anesthesia's side effects. Another way it benefits patients is that before we sometimes needed many attempts to correctly stick the needle into the target and of course many attempts will increase the number and the rate of possible complications such as bleeding. With the volume navigation system, we reduce those risks. Even complicated procedures can be transformed into easy ones. We can see the needle path on our screen thanks to the imaging technique. With this technology, we now can do things quickly and efficiently. It is now less complicated. Even new interventional radiologists with limited experience can master the technology. It has a short learning curve and yet maintains the effectiveness of the procedure. My ideal vision is to have every interventional radiologist able to perform these procedures. The patients and the physician community will benefit from using the minimally invasive approach.